All right, people. So I just made it here to Milwaukee. I am uh, currently at this place called Veterans Park. It's a uh, really nice place. I'm right by the water. It's uh, very nice and peaceful. And um, it's about 7.30 in the morning. Uh, I left the place where I was staying at around 5, 5.15. And uh, it was a pretty nice road trip um, getting over here. And uh, I'm just gonna be spending the morning here, spending some time, gonna be enjoying my uh, yerba mate. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna just take it easy, enjoy this moment, and uh, just uh, get ready for whatever this experience, this journey, this beautiful day may bring so um, yeah I'm just uh, really really grateful that I'm living this moment right now this amazing experience in in a place where where I've never been before so um, yeah and uh, yeah so one thing that I wanted to share quickly um, about what I've learned when traveling by myself um, is to try not to have any uh, sort of like expectations. Um, it's just so much more exciting to just accept and um, kind of submerge myself into whatever circumstance the day may bring or the, the experience may bring. Um, you know, uh, I I can try to uh, make plans and, and um, plan according to whatever I may want to experience or, or whatever, but um, I found that, you know, the days not always go as, as you may expect and uh, that can sometimes lead to frustration and um, so... Um, one of the things that I've learned is to just live every moment with with gratitude, regardless of any sort of uh, difficulty or or uh, adversity that you may have to face. Um, and that's that's also the exciting part about traveling to new places and and uh, taking the courage to to get out there and experience new things. Um, it's the unknown um, you know like I said you, you may uh, be able to plan as much as you can prior but uh, it not always goes the way that that um, that you plan as as far as uh, as I've been able to experience I just try to go on the journey without having too many expectations or without planning too much um, and I find in that in in the journey in the um, in the moment and figuring things out um, so much joy and uh, so much fulfillment so yeah I just uh, wanted to share that and uh, I'm gonna continue to live this beautiful day, enjoy this moment, and uh, I'll, I'll uh, see you guys later.
What's going on, people? So, it's been an absolute beautiful day. Amazing, amazing experience so far. Um, as you just saw, I've, I've just been walking around, exploring as much as I can of uh, the downtown Milwaukee area. Um, I walked along the, the lake on a trail uh, for a couple miles. Um, there's there's just so much to see here. Um, such a beautiful place, such a beautiful city. Um, so after I was uh, I was done walking around the uh, downtown area, I got back to my car um, where I parked it in front of the park right where I uh, where I started this morning and uh, the trail that's alongside the, the lake is, is just so beautiful and uh, I've just been itching all day to to just run along the, the trail and uh, so I got back to my car around like uh, 1 30 2 in the afternoon and um, yeah I just decided to go on an easy run um, on the opposite side of where, where I haven't walked uh, this morning so I did uh, even more um, exploring on my run which was uh, pretty amazing I got to see some uh, some other parks that were uh, along the lake and um, yeah according to Google Maps uh, it looks like I ran about 10 miles just at an easy pace um, and I just uh, I just enjoyed every second of it it was it was just so uh, relaxing and um, there was it was just uh, so much to see um, and like I said it's it's such a beautiful place um, definitely definitely recommend um, if anybody can ever make it to Milwaukee definitely definitely recommend it um, so now uh, I'm just gonna stretch a little bit um, and uh, I'm gonna head I'm gonna head home um, it's about 530 in the afternoon um, and uh, I have a about an hour and a half drive back home so uh, yeah this is gonna be uh, you know the last uh, bit of my trip here uh, to Wisconsin um, it's been an absolute amazing experience uh, yesterday in Wisconsin Dales today in Milwaukee um, and uh, yeah I'm absolutely grateful for this opportunity that I got to uh, see a place that I've, I've never been in. And uh, yeah. So I'm gonna head back home now. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. I'll, uh, I'll wrap up the video when I, um, when I get back home. So see you guys later. So I made it home about like two hours ago. Right now, as you can see, I'm just uh, making some dinner. I actually had to stop by the store um, to get some food that I'm gonna need for the week. This is actually gonna be my uh, last week in Chicago before I uh, head back to New Jersey next weekend, so pretty excited for that. So it took me uh, about an hour and a half to get back home. Uh, it was a really nice road trip. I, I actually enjo enjoy going on road trips. Uh, I don't mind long drives at all. I find that it's a good opportunity to, um, you know, just relax and listen to music, listen to podcasts. And uh, I also like to call like uh, family members and whatnot to catch up. So uh yeah 
So I'm gonna enjoy this dinner right now. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm having. And uh, after that, uh, before I end this video, I wanted to um, share probably the most important thing that I've learned um, when traveling by myself. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna catch up with you guys uh, in a little bit. Okay, so here's uh, what I'm having for dinner. I got two eggs there with um, beef liver. I got some uh, sweet potatoes with uh, ground beef and two more eggs. I'm gonna have uh, some cheese and uh, two bananas and an avocado on the side and probably gonna have some uh, blueberries as well. All right, so I just finished eating dinner a couple minutes ago and uh, that was really good. It was actually my only full meal of the day um, and I was really hungry so today I only had a, a fruit smoothie and uh, a cup of coffee before going on my run. Um, I actually uh, have a thing for coffee shops. Um, it's one of the things that I really enjoy doing when I'm uh, traveling and uh, exploring new places. Um, I really like going to local coffee shops and uh, just seeing what they have and trying out new th new coffee roasts and whatnot. Um, so the one I went to today was called uh, Collectivo Coffee and um, it was really nice. Um, the coffee roast that they had today was a Colombian one and um, I really, really, really enjoyed it. So um, yeah, and then uh, this smoothie that I had was also really good at uh, the public market that I went to. Uh, there was a, a smoothie bar where um, they actually had the fresh fruit like right on display and um, you could actually watch the the people making the smoothie for you and um, so um, the one I had was a uh, a tropical smoothie so it had a mango pineapple strawberries and, uh, and a banana and uh, they typically mix it with um, pineapple juice but uh, I just asked them to uh, to use water because um, on the in the pineapple juice there was most likely um, added sugar so um, I definitely try to avoid that at all costs and so uh, yeah but it was a really good smoothie like I said and uh, yeah so before I end this video, like I said earlier, I, I wanted to share the most important thing that I've learned when uh, traveling. And that's to just not care um, what other people's perceptions of myself are. Um, so what I mean by that is um, I used to be absolutely terrified of um, going to places or going into public places by myself, um, let alone traveling by myself. Um, and that was because I was so self-conscious about um, what other people may think of me um, when they see me by myself um, I, I didn't want people to think that I'm a 
some type of uh, a weird person or um, a loner or or anything like that. I was I was so terrified that people would judge me by uh, the fact that I was I was by myself. Um, but I realized that that was only a judgment that I had on myself that people at the end of the day actually don't care that nobody cares about whether you're by yourself or whether you're with any anybody else in a public place um, it's all it was all in my head it was all um, a result of my insecurities and if there really are people that would judge me then that's on them I have absolutely no control over that and there's no reason why I should let the fear of judgment prevent me from going to places that I want to go to from doing the things that I really want to do I remember the first time that I ever traveled by myself uh, I was very nervous um, I wanted to go see one of my all time favorite bands that I grew up watching on TV which is Metallica they were going to um, have a concert in uh, in Raleigh, North Carolina. So I couldn't find anybody to go to the concert with because um, not many of the people that I know like Metallica or um, didn't have the availability that I had to go to the concert. So. I uh, I still decided to go by myself and like I said I was extremely nervous and um, but I went ahead and, and I booked the trip and I I went to the concert by myself and um, that was my very first experience um, traveling by myself and, and going to a really big public event um, by myself. I was very uneasy and uh, uncomfortable, but I've, I've realized that at the end of the day, it, it really wasn't that bad. After that, I've had many other um, traveling experiences by myself. I and each time I I I went on one, I um, I've realized of of how much I I really enjoy them. Um, it's just a such a liberating experience. It's just being by myself and not having to depend on anybody else or not having to um, base my decisions on, on anybody else's schedule or, or um, preferences is, is so, um, so freeing and the sense of freedom that, that you get is, is so amazing. Um, I've also learned to to deal with with adversity. Um, it's it's so exciting to just go travel and uh, not really knowing what what to expect or or uh, the challenges that. Are gonna are gonna be presenting themselves, uh, and it's it's just such a life changing experience.
every time I I travel by myself I just feel like it it gives me so much more security in myself um, and I, I just get to grow so much so yeah that being said I really want to thank you guys for sticking to the video thank you so much for watching for the support I really really hope that you get value out of this and uh, if you do please feel free to let me know feel free to connect on Instagram in the comment se section down below if you think anybody out there can get value out of it please share it and um, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one.